Here comes the math scholar. We are live, so just so you know. Out of you guys, lots of familiar faces here. Yes, we are. What is the word? A little bit of money. Okay. okay. Is it going to be money. even or odd? I took some money out of the bank this morning. Is it going to be even or odd? I don't know. We've got to get going right now. We have to get going. Um, you will only get two minutes. It's going to go very, very quickly. Please, no looking on other people's papers. I think we're far into enough apart where we're going to be okay. Uh, try your best. You will need to label and circle your answers. Okay. People will come around and look. They're not going to give you any feedback. There will only be one winner most likely. If it goes on to round 13, then there might be several winners. Oh, wow. okay. Okay. Yes. Where do we write our answers? On the whiteboard. You're going to write your answer on the whiteboard. So if you want to do all your work on a whiteboard, I would do it on one of the clean ones. Um, please put it on your whiteboard. Anything else? And circle it. And circle it. Circle your answer. Label it. Say this with me. Circle your answer. Circle your answer. Label. Okay. You will have two minutes after I'm done reading the question two times. I will not read it again for you. It will be posted right up there. I'm really proud of you guys. Um, you are amazing kiddos, and I'm ready to start. Don't be nervous, just do a good job. Label and circle. Oh, the winner, I credit certificates out for everybody in here as a participant. The winner, I'll have to fill your name in in a few minutes after we're done with the competition and um, give you the certificate and the money afterwards. Here we go. Great, amazing race, grade three. Two minutes after I'm done reading. Margo arranged her cookies on a tray in four rows of six. Bella placed her cookies in eight rows of three. Bella says she has more cookies because she has more rows. Is she correct? Yes or no? Please explain. Show some work. Margo arranged her cookies on a tray in four rows of six. Bella placed her cookies in eight rows of three. 
Bella said she has more cookies because she has more rows. Is she correct? Yes or no, please explain, go. Seconds left. Just circle an answer and label it if necessary. If necessary. Markers down. They'll come, they're coming around to check. Please remember, you have to listen to what question I ask. Sometimes there is information in there that you don't necessarily need. When I say give me a yes, when I say give me a no, and please explain, you need to fully answer the question.
10 seconds. Markers down, circle answers. Markers down, circle answers. Nobody here should be nervous. Nobody here should be upset if you don't know. I don't think in the history of doing this event, everybody's ever got every question right. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. Also, you're far enough away from each other where if you need mass break to get more oxygen to your brain, you can certainly take them. We set you guys very, very far apart for that reason also. So I want you to be comfortable and enjoy what you're doing. You guys can erase. Question number three. Which two numbers have the sum of 12 and the product of 35? Which two numbers have the sum of 12 and the product of 35? I'm going to start it right now, two minutes. Don't forget when you have an answer to write it on your whiteboard and circle it. Okay, time is up. Please put your markers down. That was a tough one, guys. Yeah. So, addition, product, multiplication. Some of the biggest easier is, is vocabulary. Okay, sorry guys. It's a busy place in here. Okay, here we go. Question number four. Raise those boards up. You are loved, you are cared about, you are brilliant. 
Here we go. Farmer Brown had a barn full of animals. He had six horses, eight cows, 20 chickens, and a dog. I love this question. How many legs were there in his barn? Farmer Brown had a barn full of animals. He had six horses, eight cows, 20 chickens, and a dog. How many legs were there in his barn? This is a great question. Don't forget to label. Don't forget to label. Go. Farmer Brown is not in the barn with the animals, so you don't have to count him. Still have 35 seconds. Put your markers down, make sure your answer is circled. Take a deep breath, have a good time. Know that, I, know that out of all the kids in your grade level, you guys made it down here. Out of 70 kids, you guys are down here. Wait, there's something Yeah, about 70. And, and you made it down here not only knowing your fast facts, but how to problem solve, too. And that's going to be the biggest thing in life is a problem solver. Can we erase the boards? Yep. Good. Hold it, wait. The judges are talking. Other guys, they're conferencing about some answers, so. Okay. Okay. Erase, erase it up. Okay, question number five. We are right on schedule. Question number five. Freddie said the following riddle. Freddie said the following riddle. I have a number of jelly beans. When you round this number to the hundreds place, it rounds to 300. What's the largest number it could be? This is a hard question. Freddie said the following riddle. I have a number of jelly beans. When you round this number to the hundreds place, it rounds to 300. What is the largest number it can be? Go ahead and go.
37 seconds left. Stop, put the markers down. Listen, guys, I would tell you the answers to each one of these, but what we're going to do is just give your teachers the answers so if they want to go over it with the class. Because if I give you the answer, you might be stressed out if you got the right, or uh, sorry, the wrong answer. And we don't want you to get stressed out about anything. So that's why we're not giving you the answer right afterwards so you don't go, oh my word, I got that one wrong. What am I going to do? Okay, so we will share the answers with your teacher and you can go over the slides with them too. Okay. Get ready, here we go with the next one. Erase the boards up. Question six. This is called the cost of clothing. This is the label of this. If Allie bought four things at the clothes store and paid $49, what did she buy? So she bought four things. If Allie bought four things at the clothes store, and she paid it total $49. What did she buy? Go. Nobody's got a perfect score yet, I don't think, so don't worry about it.
judges take their places. Don't erase your boards until the judges say that you can erase them. Stop, markers down. Judges, we okay with this one? We got everybody? Okay. We're right to the next one. Erase the boards. Erase them up. Graham earns six dollars for every crate of oranges he picks. Lynn earns eight dollars every hour she babysits. How many crates of oranges does Graham need to pick to earn the same amount that Lynn earns for three hours of babysitting? This is a problem-solving thing. Once again, Graham earns six dollars for every crate of oranges he picks. Lynn earns eight every hours to every hour that she babysits. How many crates of oranges does Graham need to pick? to earn the same amount that Lynn earns for three hours of babysitting. Go.
One minute left. Ten seconds left. I'm sorry you're listening to the title song. Uh, can't do anything about that right now. We have speech music a little bit, so okay. Uh, our judges are just going around. We're gonna move right to question nine. Okay, pencils down, or markers down. Circle it up, make sure it's labeled. We have one final question, then we'll go into the tie round if need be.
Okay, I'm just going to wait for my judges to give me the okay for the last question. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, there we go. It took Mr. Bean three days to build a new guitar. How many hours is that? By the way, it takes many more hours than that. <laughs> but it took me three days to build a new guitar. How many hours total? seconds late, you have 30 seconds left. Yes, by the end of the day, we do have a winner. By the end of the day, I'll have the winner's certificate and the money for them, and we'll do something down by my office, okay? We do have a winner. I have no idea who, who it is. Um, Mrs. Scott, why don't you tell us who's the winner? Kelly Beachel. Kelly Beachel! Congratulations! Good job, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of everybody. It was a three-way tie up until the ninth question. It was a three-way tie up oh. until the ninth. I don't know. I will take a look at all that stuff. I don't like to be involved in that because I don't want to get anybody nervous, but it was a three-way tie. Kelly Beecho, congratulations. Congratulations to every single one of you geniuses, scholars down here. I'm really proud of you. Let me give you your certificates and we'll get a quick picture. Cam. Nate, Abigail, Zach, Zach. I'll take care of free ice cream for all you guys too. All you gotta do is say this. Oh, you. oh, you're not Corey. Uh, you are Ella. <laughs> you are Cannon. Erase those boards. You are Corey. Kelly, you will get your real winner certificate and your money by the end of the day. Let's go get a picture, kiddos. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Up your pencils and Would you go tell? Uh, fourth grades to start sending kids down. Yeah. Fourth grades. Yep. Follow me out this way. Let's get a picture, guys. Follow me out this way.
can I order maybe for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> what was your name? I truly do love you guys. You make my it was nice to be real. Nice. 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 You should tell them to write your name. Uh, just tell them to buy me ice cream and you're fucking wild. Get yourself, get out of here. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> 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 Sit anywhere where there's a marker, and good luck. I'll give you rules in a second. Miss okay. Daly, turn your mic off. Find a spot. <laughs> Find a spot. There's extra boards here if you want to use one of ours because they're cleaner. Any spot. Please move down so you can't mark. see anybody else's. There we go, there we go. I got spots right here, here, over there. Over, over there's a spot. Miss, Miss Daly, can you hear me? Can you turn your mic off? Thank you. Okay hey guys, can you write your names at the top of your boards? We don't, some of us don't know your names. They'll keep us from having to ask them each time. So, rules really quick. I have three judges. I am not going to talk to them about who's winning or anything. And I don't want you guys to be stressed either. You're not going to know the correct answer until this competition is over. Because I'm not going to stress kids out. The answers, I will supply to your teacher. So, if they want to go over the answers with your class and you, I will give you the answers. We have them right here. Other things? I'm just really proud of all you guys. Um, listen, this is hard. I was not great in math in school. This is hard stuff. My brother was the math genius. He always helped me. So congratulations to everybody that's here. Work hard. Don't be nervous. There probably will be only one winner. There are some tiebreakers. Um, if we have to use them, we will. Uh, the winner will get some money. Put some, a little bit of money out of the bank. It's usually $20 that you, that you win. Um, don't forget to circle your answer and label it. Circle your answer and label it. Because that's what's going to truly separate people. Now, we also did put space in between, so if you guys need to take mass break or whatever you need to do, we got enough space here where you guys can breathe. Okay? Let me get ready. This is stressful for me, too, believe it or not. A little bit more. There you go. Okay. Any questions? Love, you are worthwhile. And here we go. Two minutes to answer each question. Okay, here we go. And I'm sorry if music starts blasting, they're playing pirate music in the music room, so that's actually comes to the best. Okay. Boom, da, 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 oh man. People do get me confused with Josh Allen a lot. I mean, I do no. look like a... No. Miss Bottles, did you say no? Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> okay, question one. <laughs> Jacob has three times as many football cards as Eli. Eli has 39 football cards. Tara has 111 football cards. Who has more football cards, Jacob or Tara? How many more? Once again, this is a lot. 
Jacob has three times as many football cards as Eli. Eli has 39 football cards. Tara has 111 football cards. Who has more football cards? Jacob or Tara? And how many more? Go. Put your hands out. We'll come around one minute. Okay, judges will come around, make sure your answer is circled and labeled. By the way, the winner, I will we'll print your certificate afterwards. I have certificates for everybody. We're just going to have to print things afterwards. But I do have uh, certificates for everybody. I'm going to wait for my judges to tell me I can go. in that same month, and Woodland School bought 123. How many more textbooks did Oak Hill purchase than Elm Street and Woodland combined? Oak Hill Elementary bought 375 books in September. 
Elm Street Elementary bought 219 in that same month, and Woodland School bought 123. How many more textbooks did Oak Hill purchase than Elm Street and Woodland combined? Go. <laughs> okay. They're going to come around and check, but we'll move on as soon as they give me the okay. Just so you understand what sleeper ticket means, it's a 
these different car rings we them from. Once again, let me read this. Five friends were taking the train to Houston. The standard seat ticket is $500 each. Sleeper seats cost $612 each. How much money would they save in all by buying standard tickets instead of the sleeper tickets? Go ahead and go. about this is Ken and Braden and Nathan, Viv, Kenna. You guys have all been here before. I you, have. Oh, I have. You, I have. You, were you here last year? Yeah. Were you in it last year too? Yes. And you were in it last year? Wow, the same kids. You're brand new, so. so you have, you've never been in it? Oh, I thought you were. You weren't in first grade. Okay. Oh, you were in first grade. Okay. So we have repeat people. She did. Oh, did you guys have anything like this at your school? You would have a, a competition? far enough where you can breathe, you can take your mask down and get air and everything else, okay? We spaced you out, we're all good. Don't no, no, tell me I had a sticker on my glasses. <laughs> See, you didn't tell me. Okay, you can erase, here we go. Question number four. The area of a rectangle pool is 96 square yards. If one side is eight yards long, what is the perimeter of the pool? I know you guys did something like this too. The area of a rectangular pool is 96 square yards. If one side is eight yards long, what is the perimeter of the pool? Go.
45 seconds. Okay, don't erase, don't erase. Let them come around. I'm going to tell Mr. Campbell we're having our competition. Yes. I just sent the invitations to Mr. Campbell and any other principal that might want to stop down and see you guys. Judges, as soon as you can tell me to erase, I will. Is not, a, is not square. Remember area, the answer to an area, the area A equals length times width, that's a square unit. Perimeter, it's not square. Especially a side is not square. It's one side, it's one label. Just, I'm not, I'm just, you're making good eye contact. I'm not saying you did that, but you're just making good eye contact. <laughs> exactly. so I was looking at you. We'll give you all the answers afterwards. Okay. Jordan painted 35 candle holders on Friday and 49 candle holders on Saturday. Candles are those things you light when the electricity goes off. Yeah. Um, she will sell them in sets of four at the craft fair. How many sets of candle holders will Jordan have to sell? Okay. Jordan painted 35 candle holders on Friday and 49 candle holders on Saturday. She will sell them in sets of four at the craft fair. How many sets of candle holders will Jordan have to sell? How many sets? Go.
thanks for being quiet and lying. You guys are awesome for the gardeners. Thank you guys. Thank you. This was pretty straightforward. This is adding and dividing, adding and dividing, adding and dividing. Judges, we ready? Okay, here we go. Question six. Jessica earned, yeah, go ahead and raise them up. Jessica earned $16 mowing a neighbor's yard. She bought a craft kit for $7.37. She used $3.75 to buy food for a food drive. She put the rest in her savings account. How much money did Jessica put in her savings account? Jessica earned $16 mowing a neighbor's yard. She bought a crab kit for $7.37. She used $3.75 to buy food for the food drive. She put the rest in her savings account. How much money did Jessica put in her savings account? Go ahead. We're running a little bit behind. We'll get through it. Question seven is next. Uh, no, we'll 
little bit more than that. As soon as we know that they have the correct answers, tell me their race and I'll read the next question. Good, race. Next question. Ella made a batch of raspberry thumbprint cookies. Those are not my favorite, by the way. She ended up with 24. She gave three sixths of them to her grandmother for her birthday. How many cookies did grandma get? This is going to be some fraction stuff. Ella made a batch of raspberry thumbprint cookies. She ended up with 24. She gave three sixths of them to her grandmother for her birthday. How many cookies did grandma get? Go. About 10 seconds left. Whoever didn't get, you're going to kick yourself for this one if you didn't get it. You did, don't say anything after I get the judges yes or no. I'll, I'll tell you in two seconds. Don't say anything, please. He knows he has 84 hats. He can fit five hats in 
eight boxes. How many boxes can he fill completely go? Twenty seconds left. If you're not finished. We do have three judges, just so that if we have questions, so we're really fair. You do know that I didn't tell anybody yet, but. You know I'm retiring, and I'm retiring to be the new host of Jeopardy. As you can see, my skill is being a master of... Yeah, yeah. Nathan, why are you laughing at me? You don't think this is true? I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm joking, you guys. Are we all set? Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, why in the classroom? Here we go. I'm thinking of two numbers that are both odd numbers. The product of the two numbers is 77. The difference is 4. And, the, and their difference is 4. What are the two numbers I am thinking of? This is hard. I'm thinking of two numbers that are both odd numbers. The product of the two numbers is 77. And their difference is 4. What are the two numbers I'm thinking of? No talking after you're done, please.
Separated everybody, didn't they? No. Are you kidding me? No, I got two so far. We have a two way tie. We're going to go to a tiebreaker right now. We're not going to tell anybody who's in the two way tie. We're going to keep everybody in the competition. Nobody knows who's in the two way tie. We do know who is in the two way tie. Here's question number one of the tiebreaker Sheena says to her brother, I'm thinking of a fraction. It is some number of eight. It is more than one half, but less than three fourths. What fraction am I thinking of? Sheena says to her brother, I'm thinking of a fraction. It is some number of eight. It is more than one half, but less than three fourths. What fraction am I thinking of? Go.
hopefully we're good. Okay, here's, here's how we play this game. Don't be stressed. One, two. I'm really proud of everybody being here. Um, it's going to be casual. You can't look on anybody else's paper. There's 10 questions. There'll be one winner. There could possibly be two winners. Um, the winner will win some money. Everybody else, ice cream for the day here. And don't forget to circle your answers, show your work, and label your answers if you need to. Question. What's ice cream for the day? Just grab an ice cream during lunch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, somebody's mic is on in second grade. Please turn your mic off so we can start the competition. Thank you. You guys ready? Yeah. Don't be nervous. You guys are far enough away where if you need to take mass break or whatever you need to do, you can do that just because we have you move down that way a little bit, honey, and then you're all set. Okay. Here we go. You're going to have two minutes to answer every question. I have three judges, and um, they will come around and... Wait, we get two minutes for all the 10 questions? Two minutes every time. Oh. Two minutes every time. I'm not going to give you any feedback. I'm not going to tell you who's right or wrong. I'm not going to tell you the right answer, because I don't want anybody to be stressed out, because as soon as you get a wrong answer, people go, oh my word, I'm not going to win. So we're not going to stress anybody out. We're just going to keep on going with these things. Last question, go. Right with your finger. That, you don't have any ink in that. <laughs> I'm joking with you. Here you go. Okay, here we go. Question number one. There are 15 tomato plants on a the shelf. There are also 22 pepper plants on a shelf. How many more pepper plants are there than tomato plants? There are 15 tomato plants on the shelf. There are also 22 pepper plants on the shelf. How many more pepper plants are there than tomato plants? Go. Ten seconds left. Okay, judges. Okay, judges are going to come around. Do not erase any boards.
We good? Yes. Okay. Guys, don't forget to label. A lot of you had answers, but we can't give it to you unless you label. Label. I said label, label, label. label. label, label. It's going to define who wins. What does label mean? Label is pep, like seven pepper plants or plants. Plants. Just or say plants. It. Yep. Okay, here we go. Cole has 30. Yeah, erase it up. Cole has 37 race cars. David has 14 more race cars than Cole. How many race cars does David have? Cole has 37 race cars. David has 14 more cars than Cole. How many race cars does David have? Go. Seven seconds. Make sure your answer is circled and labeled. Just so we know where your answer is, you know. So proud of each of every one of you guys. You have been in the Great Command. You were in it last year. You were in it. You were in it. You were in it. You were in it. I was. You were in it, I right? Wasn't here, though. You weren't here. You I know, I know. You're new. Jace, were you in the Great Amazing Mad Race last year? Uh, no. No? Okay. I know most of you guys are people that have been in it before. Judges, tell me when we're good, please. Here we go, question three. Yeah, raise it up. Jesse has three coins. Each coin is different. If he has 31 cents, what three coins does he have? I love this question. Jesse has three, don't say anything. Jesse has three coins. Each coin is different. If he has 31 cents, what three coins does he have? Go.
You have to have the words. What coins are they? You can't just write. You have to have penny, dime, nickel, quarter, whatever it may be. You can just put Q for quarter, B for dime, N for nickel, but you have to have the coins. You have 10 seconds left. Yeah. Okay. I don't want anybody to be nervous, guys. This isn't a time to be nervous or anything. This is a time to celebrate your amazing brain and how smart you are and how, how blessed you are with that mind, that math block mind that you have. Nobody should be all stressed out. Leave the stress into me. Jay Jordan. Jesse is a friend. Yeah, I know he's a good friend. That's Jesse's girl. That's a song, by the way. You look extremely different when you were younger. When did you see me when I was younger? When I was in trouble and I went to the office. Oh. I look extremely different because I had longer hair and I. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. We all get old. I. Be careful, because I think I can still beat you in a race. So just be, I still run. No, so. he's fast. He's fast? Okay, so maybe I can. Okay. Right, okay, here we go. Yeah. Two minutes, to answer this question. Grace needs 61 beads to make a bracelet. She has 24 beads. Her sister gave her 18 beads. Grace swapped the notes. How many more beads should she need to make a bracelet? 24. 18 beads. 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 18 so Grace needs 61 beads to make a bracelet. She has 24 beads. Her sister gives her 18. Grace wants to know how many more beads she needs to make that bracelet go.
Just work on the whiteboard. See, you can work on the whiteboard. This goes easier. Okay, here we go. There are 54 students at the zoo. If 18 students leave the zoo and seven more show up, how many students are at the zoo now? Now, there are 54 students at the zoo. If 18 students leave the zoo and then seven more students show up, how many students at the zoo go? You have to label, and I, I can't do it to you if you don't label. I feel that you do all that work and you get it right, but you don't label.
Okay? Once again, to run it out. I'll get you one right over here, honey. in her bag, 82 cents in her bag. She has six coins. 
there are quarters and two pennies. Which other coin does she have? Amelia has 82 cents in her bag. She has six coins. Three are quarters. Three are quarters and two are pennies. Which other coin does she have? Three are quarters and two are pennies. There's eight coins go. You guys don't have to spell it out. You can just put Q for quarter, N for nickel, D D for dime, D for penny, whatever. We'll know what that means. The circle. Okay, five seconds. Not erase, let's check your answers.
five seconds left. One last question. You guys are all doing awesome aronies. Uh, no, not, not right now. I'm hungry. Are they what? No, those are not my cream. What are they? They're just certificates that you can say that show that you were participating in this race. You were one of 10 people, which is an amazing feat. Out of 80 kids, you're one of 10 people competing for the championship. That's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight kids, I'm sorry, eight. Can they race? Yeah. Yes. Last question. Uh-oh. Find the difference of 64 and 25. And then find the sum of the same numbers. Find the difference of 64 and 25. And then find the sum of the same numbers. So you have to know what the word difference and sum means. Go. seconds. I think we will have a winner. I'm not sure. I think we will have a winner in the first round. Okay? I don't know who the winner is. I will tell you in a couple of seconds. Maybe things have changed.
right there, different subtraction. What, what do you say the difference is in subtraction? Go right there. name on the top of your board so we know who you are. Okay, we're all set. By the way, congratulations to all of you guys. Uh, makes me really proud. You guys, uh, let me see here. Couple new faces, but there's some old faces that are always in this competition too. I'm just going to put your certificates the winner, we will make sure that we get you a real certificate. You will win $20. Everybody else gets free ice cream today. Um, don't be nervous. This is a great accomplishment. I'm just really proud of all of you guys for being here. And don't be nervous. Try your best. I'm not going to tell you who's winning. I'm not going to get your nerves all off. Okay? And I'm not even going to tell you the right answers. You can have the right answers afterwards, after we're done with this. You need to circle your answer when you are done writing it. Circle your answer and you might, you might want to label your answer if there's anything that needs to be labeled. Like, so if it says uh, three toys plus seven toys, you would label ten toys. You would put the label toys. We will try to remind you the first couple times. Are you ready to start? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Good luck to all my kiddos, and here we go. Great, amazing race. This is the final round, and if you see me on my phone, I'm just posting the winner of the last round, okay? Here we go. Question one. You are going to have to look at the board for this one. Make a number sentence to show how many red, yellow, and green apples there are all together. Then make another number sentence to show how many apples there are left after you eat all the red ones. So you're going to have to look. We have green, yellow, red, green, yellow, green, red. Make a number sentence to show how many red, yellow, and green apples there are all together. Then make another number sentence to show how many apples there are left after you eat the red apples. Go.
Don't be nervous, don't be tense. Judges, tell me when I can move on. Okay, all set, here we go. Question number two, raise your boards. At the school play, there were eight seats left for the students from room 34. If there are 17 students in room 34, how many children did not get a seat? At, at the school play, there were eight seats left for the students from room 34. If there are 17 students in room 34, how many students did not get a seat? Go. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds.
I don't want anybody getting stressed here. It's not what this is for. Mm -mm. Yeah. This is fun, guys. It's just amazing you made it here. Right? Yes. Amy, do you want a half dance or a full dance? So I don't get it. You should have a full dance. Does that make sense? Because Sarah Harrison, she can come with half. That would be great. Just in the morning. She can leave it half. Leave it half full. Yeah, and that's what we need. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all sit here, people? Y'all sit? Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay, we're ready? Here we go. Question four. Max has some bagels. I had bagels for breakfast. Max has some bagels. He gave four to his cousin and shared three with his sister. He has five left now. How many bagels did he start with? Max has some bagels. He gave four to his cousin and he shared three with his sister. He has five left now. How many did he start with? Go. Ten seconds. By the way, you guys are spaced out far enough. If you need to take mass break or take them down for a little while, you can because you are more than six feet. So I want you to breathe. I want you to get air. I want you to have fun here. I want you to be okay. I want you to have a good time today.
about 45 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Yell from the room and tell her to grab it out of my wall. Put it on the desk. Seventeen seconds left. I think they all got it, right? You did? Yeah. Are we all set? Yeah, Guys, all set. for sure? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Next question. Liza has seven friends and she wants to give each of them three cookies. Will a package of 20 cookies be enough? Explain your answer, yes or no. If Liza has seven friends and she wants to give each of them three cookies, will a package of 20 be enough? You have to say yes or no and then explain why. You can draw a diagram, you can draw whatever you want, but it's yes or no and draw something to explain your answer. Liza has seven friends, she wants to give each of them three cookies. Will a package of 20 cookies be enough? Please explain your answer, yes or no, go.
that's that. Put your markers down. Seven friends. What I would have done is draw, I would have drawn my seven stick figures or seven things, and I would have put three by each one. And if you would count that up, she would need 21 cookies. So no, she did not have enough. Question eight, erase, let's go, erase. This is an easy one. If you need to get a little bit closer, let me see if I can. What time is shown on the clock? I can't enlarge a Google slide, guys. What time is shown on this clock? If you need to get a little bit closer to see, you're more than welcome to get up. Please keep your eyes to yourself when you go up there. You may walk up there, go. If you need to go up and really look at that clock, go ahead and look at it. Please don't talk with anybody. I know. That's everything's digital now. It's counting by fives. Digital. That's what it's going to ask for. Not as big as we go. A minute thirty left. Is everybody yeah. done? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. You want to go ahead and look and make sure you got it for sure? Yeah. Got you, you sure you got it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We got one. You got one. We got okay, one. we got one. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Question number nine. We have two questions left. We gotta get done with them. Matthew did his chores, which everybody should do their chores every single day. Matthew did his chores. He spent 10 minutes brushing the dog, 14 minutes picking up his toys, and five minutes taking out the trash. Did he spend more or less than half an hour? Tell how you know. Matthew did his chores. He spent 10 minutes brushing the dog, 14 minutes picking up his toys, and five minutes taking out the trash. Did he spend more or less than half an hour to help him out go?
seconds. what's going on if we have a tie or if we have a winner. I'm not even looking at them yet. Yes? Well, we have one question or two questions for a tiebreaker, and then if there is a tie, then I give whoever wins money. All. Here we go. Jesse planted 17 trees. Marcy planted 15 more trees than Jesse. How many trees did Marcy plant? Jesse planted 17 trees. Marcy planted 15 more than Jesse. How many more trees did Marcy plant? Go. Don't erase your boards. Whatever you do, don't erase your boards. Don't erase them. Don't erase your boards. Well, we, we do. We do have a winner. Can I? Um, actually, I don't even want to know. I'm going to let you announce the winner. I have no idea who the winner is of this guy. First of all, really proud of all you guys once again. You guys are amazing kids. Keep on doing well in math. Let's see. I like it a lot. We have an almost equal showing of boys and girls, mathematicians, so that's a really good thing. Who's the winner? Hunter Hoffman. Hunter Hoffman! You won! That's so great, everybody. Okay, grab your shirt. Everybody gets free ice cream today. Just tell them you're getting ice cream, okay? Hunter, I will get your money and your winner's certificate in a couple minutes. But everybody grab their certificate so we can go out and get a picture out here. So grab your certificate and follow me. I am so proud of everybody. Close competition again. Line up right over there by those boards.
That's quite an accomplishment, my kiddos, quite an accomplishment. Okay, right over here, I'll get your picture. Okay, you ready?